to add a CSS file um, to our website we need to first take a look at our index.html and you can see up here in the head that we have uh, a links to our first two CSS files which are pre-built in the skeleton boilerplate and then we have this third one that we added the styles.css and taking a closer look here the, this web page is going to look for inside of the CSS folder this one here and it is going to look for a file called styles.css you can see here that we do not have that so we need to make that and save it into that folder so the way we're going to do that is in Optana you're going to say file new from template CSS blank file here we go and I'm going to first save that so I'm going to say file save as I'm going to call it styles.css and then I need to go ahead and search for my website and so you might have a window that looks like this if you do just click on this little arrow and it'll, it will expand in the search bar type in the name of your web site and responsive comes up here I'll double click on that guy and go into the CSS folder that's where I'm gonna save my styles.css so I'll save it um, and now how can we check well we can just add a property to the body of the web page and remember the body is all of the part that you see on the web browser and I'm gonna say background color red save whoa save that and I'll come over here and I'll refresh okay so they are connected um, so great I'll come back over here and I will save that um, and so uh, we want to stylize the title using text shadow and so what does that mean well if you look at my web page here do you see here how there's a small shadow in the background right there's a shadow on all of these texts and so what I want you to do is to use that on this piece of text um, using the style sheet and so to make to, to add that property we need to make a class and so I'm gonna say class that's period title and inside of the brackets I'm gonna put the property that I want to use and I, the property here is text shadow shadow and it has three numbers it has like five pixels five pixels and five pixels and then it has the color that you want to use so I'm going to use six zeros which signifies black and I will save that and come over here and refresh you see nothing is happening and the reason why nothing is happening is because we are not using this class in our index.html and we need to use it in the element that we want to use those properties uh, what is an element it's beginning tag ending tag right beginning tag ending tag beginning tag ending tag all of those are elements and you can see an HTML file is made up of multiple elements where do we want to use the text shadow right here right so I'm gonna come inside here into this div and I'll say whoa I'll say class equals title come back over here and refresh you can see we got a shadow now you might need to play around with those numbers to make it look good so let me come back over to my style sheet and change those to three save it refresh okay so that looks a little bit better uh, once we use our Google font it will look even better 